Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a quick little tutorial on making a painterly effect in Blender. Now you're going to need Blender 4.0 or newer to be able to follow along with this because we're going to be using the Kiwahara node which is going to kind of help us in this process. So go ahead and get a scene of your choice, jump into Blender 4.0 and by the way if you want to follow me on Instagram there's also going to be a link to that in the description. I share a lot of my really cool artwork on there and also don't forget to check out my Blender 3D Cat series that I just dropped a few days ago on my channel as well. It's really worth to watch and it's going to take you through the whole process of making this cute cartoony cat character. So let's jump into the tutorial. So what you're going to do, just as normal, you're going to open up a scene of your choice in Blender and make sure it's Blender 4.0. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and render your image. And once you have an image rendered out, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your compositing workspace. And then you need to go into the compositing window over here and you need to make sure use nodes is enabled up here. And what you also want to do is you want to go shift a search, just get the viewer node. And then you're going to take that image and drag it into there. If you hold in shift and you right click, you can just click and drag to cut your cables together like so. So just have these um, two outputs here. Okay. So now we just have our normal render that you can see here. And what we're going to do, we're going to go shift a, we're going to go over to our filters and they're going to, there's going to be this one here called Kiwahara. Okay. And you're going to grab that and you're going to plug it in here in between image and the composite and the viewer here. And you can see kind of right out of the box, this is kind of the effect you get. I'm going to go ahead and tone it down a little bit to five, but what we have here is kind of like a speckled blotchy look. And um, when I first did this, I didn't really like that effect too much. The way we can make this look a bit better is by going shift a search and just type in filter and just get a filter node and then place this next to the Kiyohara. And now we can soften that a little bit, but don't want to soften it too much. So I think something like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 is okay. And then if we go, you can kind of see here, it's now looking pretty cool. Um, but one of the things I think happens is we lose a bit of saturation. At least I feel like we lose a bit of saturation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shift a search and get a U and saturation value and just place it here in the end. And now we can take our saturation and go um, 1.05 and just slightly increase it, maybe 1.08. Just a little bit of saturation back in there. And that really kind of helps make it look a little bit more um, painterly. So this is it, guys. This is how you get a painterly effect in Blender. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to follow me on Instagram and check out some of the stuff in the description below.